Good evening guys and girls, this is Violox back playing The Wolf Among Us. Um, I'm on to the second episode, I've been waiting so long for this to come out, it's such a good game. Um, as you've seen if you've watched my previous episodes, it's uh, a telltale game, same makers as The Walking Dead uh, game as well, so it's a very very good game. Um, also, like I say, it's, if, you, if you've if you watched like my previous episodes uh, on this, you'll know it's kind of like uh, you have to, you've got to pick um, certain decisions and it changes the storyline. Anyway, let's get straight back into it. Oh, I've been waiting since, I think it was October when Faith came out. This is now Smoke and Mirrors. And oh, so looking forward to this because it's... Mr. Toad. Who's Justin Bigby? Before he completely tears up the place! Whoa, 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 hey, hey! You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid c- hey. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Please, Bigby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. I promise. Thank you. For trusting me. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Come with me. <gasps> Remember that. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow! You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. No, I'm Dean. He's dumb. <gasps> but he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, Miss White, he'd come back and kill me. I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. Holly, you're out of paper towels and uh, they're gonna string me up, baby. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. All right, I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl name. Fuck, man! This fucking lap dog. They come sniffing around this part of town. Fucks in the woods, need to shake the hand. Ain't that right, Big B? Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Oh, God. It just takes me back. <laughs> Cannot wait. Uh, yeah, like I just saw then, that was just kind of showing my uh, decisions and uh, how the story planned out. Oh yeah, this was at the end of the last episode. Mr. Yeah, as you saw, Snow White had a head chopped off like the stripper before. Um, You're making this more difficult than it has to be. I'm not a bitch. Any woman's if you dead. You just cooperate and answer the questions. You can go home. Maybe get some sleep. You try to blame me. Feeling? I know it's been a long night for you. You look like you could use some rest. I'm hunky dory. <laughs> Thanks for asking. There's no need to get aggressive. I'm trying to help you. Look, I know what you must be going through. Really, I do. But I could use your cooperation. You don't know anything. If you did, you wouldn't be sitting here talking to me. Yeah. You'd be talking to the piece of shit that did this. Well, you stonewalling me like this isn't helping either of us, so why don't you cut the shit and... No, oh, you bitch like you in a minute, woman. I promise sig in your face. I'm trying to help you, bitch. She can't be trying to blame me for this. What is it with you cops? Always trying to empathize with people. I know this must be hard for you. Do you? Do you fucking know? Have you had a friend killed and their head left at your fucking doorstep? No. Didn't think so. Gonna go all wolf and bitch slap everyone in a minute. Your nose is bleeding. Oh, 
Huh? Are you okay? You don't look so good. Detective Brannigan? I'm Detective Brannigan. Uh, no, yeah, no, no, no. I know. I just said that. Is there something? going on you should be thanking me it's just a memory wipe spell very expensive but it works the whole station will forget the last 24 hours and everything they saw at the woodlands well hurry up oh my sick first buddy fucking icky bomb you bell end It's up and starting again. Oh, I see it. Yeah. Find out what's going on. Yeah, just saw from a previous episode, it involves a bit of a grade A. Yeah, I won't swear, but a grade A. I'll end. <coughs> I'm saying that would be a change oh. anything. Fine. Yeah, don't care. Yeah. We um we found Tweedledee chained up to a post. That was your doing, correct? Yeah. Yeah. I well, I don't know why you detained him. D was at the trip trap when Snow was left at the woodlands, so he couldn't possibly be involved yeah. in this. Yeah. Well, where would D then? Blue yeah, exactly. Currently He's working for somebody. He's working that. for somebody. Whoever it is wants him snooping around every crime scene I've looked at. That doesn't necessarily mean they're involved in the murders. Are you... Oh, God. You be a detective. Be awesome. I know what you're thinking, Bigby. It's been one full night and slice of morning. And I already I'm miss thinking. it, too. It's gonna smash into us. You know, go. I never get more homes than one of us dies. Now, were it to be snow, I've never been good with these sorts of things. I just can't believe this is really happening. Give me a fucking break. You don't really what? care. You treated her like the fucking maid, and now? <laughs> you want a shoulder to cry on? You didn't care then, and you don't care now. That is not true. Not true at all. I thought we had some common ground, could discuss this like gentlemen. I'm gonna call you an absolute bell end. <sighs> Go on then. I'll, I'll give you benefit of doubt. Alright. It's been a shitty couple of days. I know you're trying. Thank you. Still don't trust you. I don't know you. why I'm asking you, but did she give any indication as to what she was thinking? You saw her last, I mean. I don't know why, but I'd like to know that she was... Um, I guess fine, I suppose. She told me to be careful, actually. She, she did. just told me to be careful. She was always fond of you, Big B. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know, I could have got some from Snow White. I don't know what else to oh, say. Oh, well, I've got Bill We have to, have to put an end to this. Maybe. Been two murders in as many days. If we don't unearth our culprit, and soon there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. I'll get it done. Please, Bigby, for Miss White. I got it. Oh, piss me off, Icky Bob. Uh. 
That's not a very good answer, is it? Come on. Just tell me what I want to know. It will make things a lot less painful for you. In theory. Oh, were you planning on using that? I just thought you really liked rubbing your little sword. <laughs> what the hell do you think Cut you're doing? Off. Hello, Ichabod. Sheriff. Bluebeard. I was just chatting with our new friend. <gasps> oh, yeah. You were supposed to wait for us to get back. I told you, if you want to be involved, you will do things my way. No violence! Whatever you say, Ichabod. Hello, Big B. Oh, I punch want him in the face. Oh, goody. I thought you wanted questions, and I was having so much trouble thinking of any good ones. Is he working for Though I'd settled on, how's your head? You see what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this, Bigby? I'm glad you have a sense of humor. I hope that means you're willing to cooperate. Snow White is dead. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. You were with me when it happened, dummy. I, want to I still have questions for you, D. Sounds like a personal problem. This is ridiculous. You know I saw you at Faith's apartment. What were you doing there? Girls got air conditioning. You can't imagine what it's like living in a little shithole with no air, especially with this heat. I want to punch going you on. in the face. I'm not so fucking around here, D. All right, D. Let's get to know each other. Ah, oh, yeah. Fuck. <gasps> Break his nose. So, this is how it's gonna be. Yeah. Just tell me what you were doing at Faith's apartment. I can't tell you. And pushing me around isn't gonna change that. My brother and I work hard, and we keep our mouths shut. That's the deal. I forgot about your brother. Dumb, right? How appropriate. Where was your brother last night? Are you accusing him of something? What do you yeah. think? He didn't do it if that's what you're getting at. He didn't kill her. You have no fucking right to keep me here. You have no evidence. Give me my stuff and let me go. What did you find on her? Oh, uh, nothing of consequence, really. What are you hiding? What's this? You have no right to keep Straps. me here. I didn't do uh, anything. Show him picture. I don't want to see that shit. Just put that away. Don't make me look at that. If you don't tell me who did this, I'll make sure you end up the same way. Dead on your doorstep. Got it? I told you, I didn't kill her. I don't know who did. God damn it. Got to find somewhere. I'm going to push him again. Dee? I don't know, okay? I haven't seen him since I left to go find Faith's. Since we ran into you. Ah. He didn't kill anybody, so you leave him alone. You don't call the shots here, D. You mentioned Faith. What about her? I went to her apartment. That's no secret. You saw me there. No, yeah, but what about her? You said you were trying to find something. All right, D. Since you never answered my first question, what did you want from Faith? Yeah. I'm not telling you shit. Punch him in face again. And again. You'll fucking pay for this! What are you doing? Getting answers. Shut up, Icky Bob. You to keep yourself under control. Punch him in the face. Let me handle this. What did you want from Faith? I didn't want shit from that little thief. More trouble than she's worth. I could say the same about you. Oh, yeah? Untie me and see how much trouble I am. So she stole something from you and you tried to get revenge. Is that it? You think you're so fucking slick. She didn't take anything of mine. She didn't? She stole from my boss. You think ah, I got anything worth stealing? Here we stealing? go. Your boss. Yeah. So let's talk about your boss then. Come on, D. It's clear you're just following orders. So who's calling the shots? No! Bloody I'm cat. fucking done!
I'm saving that. Do not give a shit. I'm gonna put it out in your fucking face. This is really. What's the point of this? Here. Just a minute. You knocked my teeth out my fucking face, and now you want to be best friends. No. No fucking way. You're out of your mind. As long as you cooperate, I'll be nice. This is all up to you. Unbelievable. Yeah, all right. Want to see a trick? <clears throat> Put it out in his... Oh, swear to God. Oh, Why God. don't you just tell me who you're working for? I want to put it out in his face. You're not a bad guy. I believe beauty on that one. But I can't give you that information. That's where I gotta draw the line. There's no way beauty would associate with a scumbag like you. What's wrong with me? You're telling me I ain't pretty enough? Yeah, we're real close. You're full of shit. Oh, we're good friends. That's enough. I will not tolerate this savagery. You think someone was trying to kill Snow? Isn't it more likely someone was trying to get back at you by Fuck killing you, her? Fuck you, Kern, Don't put this on me! What's going on down here? What the...? What... the... Fudge? Okay guys, I'll leave that one there for now. Leave a like if you enjoyed. If not, it's all good. Bye-bye for now. Eh.